All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this blog. Here to give you a college football preview on the Indiana Hoosiers for the 2016 college football season. Now, head coach Kevin Wilson did a pretty decent job, in my opinion, last season, leading the team to a six and seven overall record and losing in the Pinstripe Bowl to Duke, 44 to 41. Now, I must say, I actually liked this team last season. Even though they didn't have a winning record, they still showed a lot of talent on the offensive side. But this is going to be a tough break for them because Nate Sofuk is no longer their quarterback. He is now with the Washington Redskins organization trying out for their team to make that uh, uh, 53 man roster. This is going to be a tough break for Indiana. And it looks like as of today, Richard Legault is actually going to be leading the way at quarterback to step it up to replace Nate Sulfu. So Kevin Jones, who is the offensive coordinator for the Hoosiers, is going to have to help out uh, um, Lego, uh, Rich uh, a little bit more um, to try to get more experience and have a better understanding of the offense. But the, he has to, but um, Rich doesn't have to worry too much about. Um, um, don't have to put too much pressure on himself because he has a slew of talent around him. Starting with the wide receivers, Simi Cobbs and uh, Ricky Jones, the leading targets for um, Hugh Indiana. And both these two players combined for over 1,900 yards receiving last season. Now at running back, um, Divine Redding is going to be the feature back for the Indiana Hoosiers. Last season, it was Jordan Howard. In the previous season, it was Telvin Colvin. And the reason, the main reason why they did so well running the football Ball is an all is because of an all American candidate, Danny Feeney, who actually is one of the um, um, big and all honor and, and all honors of Big Ten uh, conference last season at center. He could also play the guard position. He's actually entered his fourth year as a starter for the Indiana Hoosier offense, and he's part of the reason why, actually, the main reason, why, in, my, in my opinion, why Indiana did a great job running the football so well because of Feeney's experience and his toughness. Now, on the defensive side, they struggled a lot defensively, especially, particularly, they struggled on the ground. Um, they, but, they're, but one of their best players is John Crawford, who had four interceptions last season to lead the team. This is, a, I think, this is a decent player. But other than that, they're going to need a lot of help. And actually, uh, William Inge is entering his fourth year as co-defensive coordinator with Tom, uh, with, with Tom Allen. Tom Allen's actually entering his first year. So hopefully, Allen can help turn this defense around. They're, he's actually going to have a base 3-4 defense for Indiana, so hopefully they can probably turn things around this upcoming season. Now, despite the fact that they have a new quarterback in Richard Legault, I actually see this team actually pulling off a 6-6 six and six overall record from what they did last season and try to and, and become bowl eligible again. Even though they have a new quarterback, they still have a great talent around the quarterback to take less pressure out. It really depends on the defense. They need to not give up so many points. But I do think they can pull a six-win season again. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be later on this evening, tonight, in which I will give you the six remaining teams of the East Division of the Big Ten Conference. I'm going to give you those previews later on tonight. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.